Health care, supposed to be the Democrats' strongest issue, the one that puts them back in the White House. Hold on a moment. It might not be. One big union is calling out Bernie Sanders for his Medicare for All proposal. It's the culinary workers in Las Vegas. Well, that's where the next debate and the next caucus will be held. They object to Bernie's Medicare for All proposal. You see, Bernie's plan wipes out the health benefits which that union has been fighting for for years. So, this is a big and important union saying no to the Democrat front-runner over health. Same with Elizabeth Warren. She started to fade the moment she revealed that her Medicare for All plan would end all private health insurance. She was the front runner, but she was tripped up by what was supposed to be a winning issue, health care. The rest of the pack will soon come under much greater health care scrutiny. All of them favor a much larger government role and much higher taxes to pay for it. Taxing the rich won't bring in enough money. They'll have to reach down into the middle class to grab some of their money. And do we really need more turmoil in health care? And it has to be said, no Democrat has a plan to reduce medical costs. And that is the basic problem. It's 262 days to the election. My prediction, health care is not the winning issue the Democrats thought it would be. And here's my question, <laughs> well, what else do they have? All right, let's get straight at it. Tammy Bruce is with us, Fox News contributor and host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation. Very important. I've got to see that. Yes, thank you. You I do. I, I'll, I'll tune Even though in. you get the real thing right here, but yeah, there you go. I'll thank take you, the sir. real thing. Yeah, right. same here. <laughs> well, what do you think? I'm saying, look, I don't think that the health care is the winning issue for Democrats that they thought it was. Well, it shouldn't be, considering the debacle of Obamacare effectively is what in part delivered Donald Trump to the White House. Isn't it ironic that they want to return to this? This framework, thinking that that's what they're going to be able yeah. to deliver. They offer things also which never really materialize. We also saw that with Obamacare promises about lower costs right. and, and more access, etc. Yeah. And the opposite happened. I hate to interrupt you, but mm -hmm. I missed out AOC, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Uh -huh. She's now telling Bernie Sanders, I'll read this, mm -hmm. a president can't wave a magic wand and pass any mm -hmm. legislation they want. Worst case scenario, we compromise deeply and we end up getting a public op option. So she's saying, back off Medicare for all, because it won't win. Well, it, she should send some royalty money over to Barack Obama with the magic wand kind of ac accusation. <laughs> that, yeah. uh, uh, look, uh, uh, we're looking at what the left normally does, which is argue for big things. They move, they figure they move four steps forward, getting this conversation in the national consciousness as though it would be a normal thing to have happen. And then they figure they'll move back two, two steps, right? So they move it forward in the public consciousness. The fact of the matter is, as we saw with Iowa, these, this is a group of people, government, certainly the Democrats in particular, who couldn't run an Iowa caucus and they want to control your health care. That was not a joke after this the debacle in Iowa. It was a real concern. There's all these ideas. They have no idea how to implement them. They're making it up as they go along. And, you know, look, this is where the Republicans must come in. The president must yes. realize this is their opportunity to remind people about the free market, control of your own health care, that the government will destroy your life, that when they say the government is here to help, as President Reagan noted, that is the thing to be afraid of. Yeah. And this is what the Republicans must do as we move forward. Why did you write in your article, February is the month mm. which will mark the re-election yes. of Donald Trump. It was a perfect storm. Things came together completely. You had everything ranging from, of course, the Iowa debacle and a great uh, State of the Union address. The economy still was moving forward. Uh, you have uh, the, the other problems, of course, with the Democrats and, and the, their candidacies in general, some general chaos. Uh, it, and then you also had, interestingly, the collapse of the Oscar ratings, down 20 <laughs> percent and in 30 percent in the demo. Even the Emmys last year were down 30 percent. And my contention is this is the realization of po in politics and culture that the American people have realized that, that they need to completely reject the status quo. They don't want what has happened before. And with watching, of course, then the acquittal with the impeachment and the president's moving forward on the issues, it's about Americans beginning to look more closely because we're closer to the election and they're seeing what they don't like with the Democrats. All of these things are coming together this was the first step into the future. That's and it's President Trump's 
And this is where it's an opportunity, not just to beat the Democrats, but to move the issues forward for the American people. The Oscar ratings yes. as an election uh, indicator. It I like is, that. It's, I like part of the, it's part of the mosaic of the yeah. American people saying, we trust ourselves more. We're tired of being lectured to. Let's continue to move forward. Okay, very good. And I'll watch Fox News. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll answer you too. Thank you very much, love.